In today's episode, we're going to take a look at how to control some high voltage devices with your smartphone using our ESP8266 microcontroller. Here I have added two buttons. This one to turn the lamp on and we can turn it off. The small lamp works with 5 volts, but if you are using a high voltage device, you have to replace these two wires with the neutral and the live of the 220 volts. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, that helps me a lot. And without any further ado, let's dive right in. So first of all, let's talk about this relay module. As you can see, it works with 5 volts DC. We are going to power it up using our ESP8266 microcontroller by connecting the uh, negative lead, which is labeled minus, to the GND. The plus goes to the VCC or the VN to power it up. Then we have a signal pin so that we can control a high voltage device that works with a voltage up to 250 volts AC and make sure that the current is below 10 amps. And on the other side, we are going to connect the lamp and the high voltage, like 220 volts. And to understand how it works, let's take a look at this image. First, we have to connect the neutral wire directly to the lamp. And the live wire is going to be controlled by our relay module. We can activate our relay to connect these two wires or disconnect them using our command digital write. Here we have the AC 220 volts in my case. You see that we have three connections. The middle one is the common. You have to connect one of the wires to this lead. Then you have two options. We have the normally open circuit, which means it is open by default. And once you activate the relay using digital write high, it will connect these two wires and turn on the lamp. And on the other side, we have the normally closed circuit which means it is closed by default and if we activate the relay it will disconnect the two leads in most cases you have to use the normally open circuit to make sure that the lamp is off by default and if we want to turn it on we have to activate our relay module to do that we have to connect the negative lead to the GND of the board the positive lead goes to the 5 volt or the VN and to be able to control it we have to connect our signal pin to one of the digital pins like D1 so that we can output a voltage using the digital write command and activate our relay module to turn on our lamp and that's all what you have to know about this module I'm gonna take this female to female jumper wire so that we can connect it the uh, negative lead to the GND or the G pin next we have the uh, plus or the VCC which I'm gonna connect to the VN this pin outputs 5 volts to power up the module then we can control it by using the signal pin and let's try with the digital pin D1 as an example for now you don't have to connect the lamp and the external power supply because we have a built-in LED that allows you to check if our relay module is working or not so let's connect our microcontroller using our USB cable I'm not going to control it using the Wi-Fi capability for now. Let's start with an empty sketch so that we can understand how it works. But I'm going to start by adding the pin number as a variable using int and call it relay pin. And under the setup function, we have to use it as an output so that we can output a voltage and activate the relay using pin mode that takes in the pin number relay pin and the output keyword and test it with the digital write command relay pin and let's start by using high but there are other relays that works in reverse if you use low it will activate the relay module so make sure to try both and hit upload after selecting the board which is a node MCU and once it's done you hear this click and we have this built-in LED that turns on that means we have activated the relay module and the normally open circuit becomes closed let's try with low and hit upload again and our built-in LED turns off now let's try to use the other side of the relay module so that we can control our lamp or a high voltage device of course you're going to need an external power supply for that and I'm going to connect the negative lead directly to the lamp and our relay module will control the other connection so that we can turn the lamp on 
and turn it off using our ESP8266 microcontroller first you have to connect the common to one of the leads like this one and the other one goes to the normally open circuit if you want to use it let's try to upload a blink sketch to turn the lamp on and off for that you have to go to the loop function that is called over and over again and we are going to turn the lamp on using this right high not low and wait for one second using the delay method this takes the number of milliseconds which is 1000 then I'm gonna turn it off using this to write low and we can wait a bit and there you go our lamp turns on and off each one second maybe that's not a good idea before I finish this video let's use one of the capabilities of our ESP microcontroller which is the Wi-Fi capability to control the devices wirelessly from file examples and we have something that's called web server which allows you to control devices or display some information I've already explained this code and how it works first I'm gonna add the, the buttons so that we can turn our lamp on and off the same thing we have to add the pin number using int relay pin which is D1 then under the setup function let's use our pin mode but to be able to control it from the web page we have to add the buttons which is created using the handle root function we can use the button tag make sure to add the slash so that you don't get an error and in here I will write a text like on but we have to set something like a link which is gonna be our route to turn the LED on for that we have to use the a tag and let's put it inside this message on then to set the link we have something that is called href equals slash on then we are going to tell our server whenever we go to this link we turn the lamp on the same thing for the off button let's use off now to tell our server what to do we have to go under the setup function and use this method server.on which takes in two parameters first we have the link slash on then the function or the lines of code that you want to execute each time we press the button you could create a function like this one on top but we have this option to write the code under here we could also send a text whenever we press it but to turn it on we have to use our method digital write it takes in the relay pin and the high keyword and let's copy it the link is slash off and we're gonna use digital write low finally we can send the message lights off but we have one more thing if you haven't watched my previous video our microcontroller would be connected to a router using the SID which is the name and the password so we have to provide this information to our microcontroller then we can use the other devices to control it and control the relay module on top we have the SID I have a network that is called our network and pass in the password and I think we have an error our lines of code ends with a semicolon so I'm gonna get rid of these and hit upload let's wait a bit as I said you have to be connected to the same network our network from the computer or the smartphone then we can use any kind of browser and we have to type in the IP address of the ESP8266 microcontroller but we have a service that is called MDNS we could simply write ESP8266.local if we hit the on button the lights turns on and we can get back and turn it off again to control more appliances you could use another relay board like this one that comes with four in this case you will have to connect it four pins like d1 d2 until d4 i think that's pretty much it guys for this video i hope you like it if you have any question or comment make sure to write that under the comment section down below and i will see you in the next one